<laughs> ah, Remy Bra, listen. I know you want to play Frisbee. I can't do it. I come out in the backyard here to spray paint down the tub. You know how long I've been waiting to do that. So maybe we can throw the Frisbee a little bit later. How about that, bud? Now listen, you got to stay out of my way now. Scott Schiller for Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts and the Team G503 here on YouTube. I don't know, man. I had a Fitzgerald guy. I'm a Willis guy, and all of a sudden the wardrobe starts coming in. And I got, I got the it's Ford, it's Ford, Ford. I do like the Master YouTube Mechanic patch though. That's pretty neat and kind of comical and fun. All right, here we go. You've been watching this series. Been doing bolt by bolt, piece by piece, all the bolt-on accessories and add-ons on that 1943 Willis MB tub. Now, there is a little bit of scrubsy out there. I decided right from the beginning, Ron and I talked about it, we were going to paint all the bolts after we got done. And that is not 100% correct if you're going for a point chief. I need to say that because I don't, want, I don't want guys getting upset. You know, hey, show us painting all those bolts. They never did that. We're doing that for because this is the Team G503 Jeep, and we're, we're doing it correct. But we're also doing it the way that we want to do it for this specific application. All right, my friends, the video you have been waiting for, or I have been waiting for, we are finally going to scuff down that tub with all the accessories on it and shoot it one last time with Ron Fitzpatrick Cheap Parts paint products. I am a big proponent of these paint products. I have not been a car, I'm not a master car painter. There's no way I'm not a master body guy. However, I have been involved in the construction business in the painting industry since I was 16 years old, and now I'm older than that. <laughs> and I have used tons of paint products, and I gotta tell you, from the moment I put my hands on them a few years ago, they're awesome, they're easy to use, they're fast drying, you're going to enjoy, if you if you decide to purchase, buy, buy a rattle can, buy one or two rattle cans, see if you like that, and I've, get, I've got a lot of questions about it lately, I'm, I'm gonna encourage you to try these products out for yourself, because once you get them in your hands, you're going to love them. All right, here we go, let's paint that tub for the final time. Okay, so we've got the tub all prepped up and all the bolt-ons are on and everything's been scuffed down and it's been washed down, so I'm ready to put the final coat of paint on. So I figured I'd take an opportunity to show you uh, how these Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts products work. You're going to need some xylene or xylol. The paint, of course, the 33070, and there's various other colors at Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts as well. But this is the World War II Olive Drab Lusterless Enamel Quick Dry. It's a synthetic alkali enamel. It's also available in the rattle cans. Same color, same match all the way around. Fantastic products. I absolutely love them. Now, we recommend that you thin out of the gallon. Now, the spray can, you can shoot right out of the spray can. It's all ready to go for you. But the gallons you're going to need to reduce or thin. So we recommend four parts to one. And there's a couple ways you can do that. You could use a big gallon pail like this, and it's got your increments on there, and you could mix your parts as you go, and you could stir it with a stir stick. I have a little method that I use myself, and call me crazy, but it seems to work fantastically well. I've got myself here just a simple spaghetti jar is what that is and put a piece of blue tape on it and i marked off one inch increments for the five separate parts one two three four five got the lines there this one that i've been using for a long time it's a atlas mason jar this one came with all the marks on it so that made it really nice but basically you just put your xylene i put my xylene in first up to your first mark and then you pour the paint in to the five and when you've got it all full up you can just give it a good shake and that mixes it real well you let that sit for a little bit and then I'll show you how to put this into your cup gun. So I've got myself mixed all up here. Use the new jar. And I'm going to shake that up really well. And then let that set for a second. And while I do that, you're going to want to get yourself a bunch of these paper strainers. They're going to take out any, any sort of the, uh, imperfections or any sort of debris that's in that paint. And even though it's out of the gallon and fresh and clean, we're still going to strain it. So we'll put a little strainer in the top here of our cup gun. And then we'll take our paint and we'll just strain it through into the cup. And I hope you can see the consistency here because that's what you're looking for. Not too runny, but not thick. So it'll spray nice out of the gun. And after you pour your paint out, you can use a little bit of the xylene and just shake that up and clean it out. And you can use it for another day. Just a little simple trick. It works. We're getting a strain there. And I don't know if you can see. Move the camera on the inside there. There is a little bit of debris in there. But we took it all out now and that should spray really nice through our gun.
It's a nice cool day here in Charleston for the month of May. It's about 70 degrees and the outside humidity is about 55-60% so we don't really have a problem with moisture in the air. Every different paint gun has its own manufacturer specifications for pressure from the compressor and different settings that you can do to adjust your your spray pattern. I am using a simple cup gun from Harbor Freight. I believe I paid about $25 for it and the pressure I'm running right now is about 60 at the gun. Seems to like to work that way. Uh, before I started, I actually took a piece of cardboard and just adjusted the fan. So I got about a 6 inch fan at 10 to 12 inches. And as you see here, I'm just going around the Jeep and just lightly dusting everything. This is the third and final coat. I've used two Barrier 3 Red Oxide Primer from Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts coats on everything, including the small parts, before I bolted them all onto the tub. And then I used two top coats of the 33070 Low Luster Olive Drab, and so I let that sit. Now after I let that cure a little while, I went through with a scuff pad, and I scuffed every single inch of that Jeep, inside and out, and all the little bolt-ons, the parts, and the handles, and the brackets. And then I washed it down with a mild detergent to get any remnant dust off. You can see here how it came out, and I had no problem with debris sticking in my paint. Again, it was a nice, beautiful day in Charleston. The wind was not blowing, and this paint dries really quickly. Now, you'll see a little bit of a sheen here on this, and that's okay. I actually just got done shooting this before I picked up my camera and walked around the back side and the front side here to show you exactly how this came out. I'm ecstatic with the results. And remember, wear your personal protective gear when painting. You don't want that spray dust in your lungs. Thank you for watching. I think I might have mentioned earlier in a couple earlier videos. What do you want to see next? Because now I'm ready to go. I'm getting really excited about this thing. And we go put that back on that tub and we are going to be on a roll here in the near future. Got some events I got that I want to go to this year. I want to bring that Jeep. So that's going to be very cool. Would you like to see the fuel lines be installed next? Or would you like to see the wire harness? I know everybody, everybody's been asking about the wire harness lately and I am working on it. You know, all the little pieces to go. Got to admit to you, the wiring is my weakness. So I've been in contact with a couple people where and I just don't get along for somebody. It's been that way ever since I did the CJ2A. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you'd what you like. The, the, <laughs> I'm excited. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Fuel lines or we're going to do the electric system. You check, take your pick. And tell me also how you like that paint. Again, I encourage you to try it out. Till next time, my friends, I am excited about this. Keep it safe. I will keep it safe. And happy jeeping.